All right. As you might be able to see, people are packing stuff down behind us. Uh, but this this was the European Championship in Call of Duty, and these guys, I think, are pretty happy now. Uh, of recent weekends, this, I guess, is one of the better ones, right? I mean, like, yeah, like, recently we haven't had the best of weekends. Like, um, we've, we've been screaming and it hasn't been going that, uh, that well. Like, we've had a few problems on the way, but... But when it when it comes to a big, a big event like this, you just got to put your all, all differences aside. Uh, past weekends across and just, just keep going. And uh, what do you think it is that that made the difference today? Because you seem to be doing really well against everybody, and even like a, a good team like Epsilon. Uh, I think everyone was just pumped. Um, everyone wanted to win. We've all got like such massive drive to win. Uh, we wanted to be Epsilon so bad, prove our critics wrong. Um, cause everyone everyone thought Epsilon was going to win. No one really thought we was going to win. So we wanted to prove everyone wrong and. Yeah, I think that's why we took it by storm. All right, and I think for most uh, teams here, the, the important thing of the weekend was qualification for LA. Uh, how, how do you see your chances there? Um, I say I think we we got a really good chance. I think as an epsilon, I got the best chances of uh, doing some damage to the American teams. The Americans, the main competition, so we're just going to study the gameplay and hopefully we can go over there and represent the UK very well. All right, and, and, and what is the roadmap ahead for you guys the, the coming weeks until uh, Cut Champs in LA? Just practice as much as possible. Maybe take like a day or two off and uh, rest and then recharge the batteries and just go as hard as we can. Obviously, um, the American teams are the main competition at Call of Duty Championships, so we're just going to be watching streams of American players just trying to learn what they, what they do and uh, just try and win Cod Champs. All right, and, and how has it been for you, uh, the, the Call of Duty uh, esports thing, you, you change game every year. How has it been for you guys changing from, from Black Ops 2 to, to Ghosts? I mean, like, on Black Ops 2, like, it was like one of the easiest games to play for me anyway. Like, um, and then moving for there, it was a bit different. Uh, Hardpoint was like one of the best game types ever made. And moving over to somewhere like Damo, just going back in time from like, all the way back from COD 4. It was a bit boring, but you got to play. Like, we're here to play a game that we, we all love. We can't just, uh, just turn it away when it goes uh, a bit downhill. But we, we, we're the best at it. We can keep doing it. Like, it's not changed our gameplay or how, how good we are. So it's, it's, been, it's been a good drive, yeah. All right, and and where do you see? Do you feel like you have maps or modes that you're better at, and other and 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 weakness, and and what what are you gonna work on there? Uh, I'd say like we've got like our best maps, obviously, but it really depends on what team you play and what their best maps are, and how how well you can counter what they do on them certain maps. To be honest with you. All right, how do you see? Because now uh, recently, us at Game Reactor were lucky enough to to have a little thing with you where you, where you played with some of our viewers. How how important do you see that and and doing YouTube and Twitch com and 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 getting that mixed with that, but still practicing and getting good at the at the game for for tournaments? Uh, well, obviously, it's like really important to to build a fan base. Um, so YouTube and Twitch and things like that are very important. Um, fortunately, some of our teams teammates can't do it, um, but we'll look in the future. We're looking to improve on that. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, I think that's it. Uh, congratulations, and uh, I see you in LA, and good luck, and all that. Thank you. Thank you.